क्या 2021 स्लॉट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अनिल बॉबी एंड चिंटू जॉइंटली इन्वेस्ट इन अ बिजनेस एंड अग्री टू शेयर द ओवरऑल प्रॉफिट इन प्रोपोर्शन टू देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज नॉट अ न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट जनरली इन बिजनेसेस प्रॉफिट्स आर शेयर इन रेशो ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट्स अनिल्स शेयर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज सेवेंटी His share of profit increases decreases by 420 if the overall profit goes down from 18 to 15 percent. So since no mention of sales figure is there, so we can assume that his overall profit goes down from 18 to 15 percent of investment. So what do we say? So basically, the profit goes down by three percent. So we can say three percent of seventy percent of Investment must be equal to four twenty. Now, why three percent? Because the profit goes down from. You could have said, you could have done this. That let the initial profit be eighteen percent of seventeen percent of investment. Later on, the profit became fifteen percent of seventy percent of investment, and this difference is four twenty. Now, instead of writing this whole equation, we should realize that the profit has declined by three percent of seventy percent of investment, which is, and this decline is equivalent to four twenty rupees. So, four twenty into hundred into hundred divided by twenty one or two hundred ten. So, which means your investment is twenty thousand rupees. Now we have given another figure that the overall profit of Chintu's increases by eighty rupees if the overall profit goes up from fifteen to seventeen percent. So that means when the profit increases by two percent, let's say Chintu's investment was C C percent. So two percent of C percent of total investment. Must be equal to eighty rupees because the profit goes up by two percent. So two by hundred into C by hundred into I is equal to eighty, and we are already given the value of I as twenty thousand. So we put twenty thousand in place of I. So two by hundred into C by hundred into twenty thousand must be equal to eighty. So hundred hundred cancels out. And we get C is equal to twenty percent. So obviously seventy percent was invested by Anil. Chintu has invested twenty percent. So Bobby must have in, invested hundred minus seventy minus twenty. That is ten percent. And what is ten percent of twenty thousand? Ten percent of twenty thousand must be equal to two thousand rupees. Correct answer must be C.